Hey guys and welcome back to FGU TV. Today okay. we're here with um, season two. Woo -woo. And today we're here at the Culver City Stairs. It's amazing. Culver City Honest, Stairs. Honestly, it's the best sight I've ever seen ever in here in California. I must say it's my first time here. So anyways, we're going to be talking about problems. Um, we all have problems, right? I got 99 problems to be exact, guys. Yeah. So it's a bunch. So we're going to be talking about how to deal and tackle these problems that we have and to find a way to solve these problems that we're going through. So we're going to be talking about that. Um, don't forget, our crew is still here, guys. I know you guys miss Pam. Squad's I know you guys here. miss Maria. I know you guys miss Ernie. I know you miss all of them. Trust me, they're here, okay? They're so here. stick around and stay tuned. My name is Jocelyn. And my name is Joseph. And you're watching FJU TV. which is a new segment here on FJU TV. I'm gonna be hosting it here, guys. I hope you guys are happy to see Ernie here again because, you know, I'm, I'm happy to be here with you guys. So, yeah, guys. Well, this segment's gonna be obviously about sports because it's called Sports Connection. And, you know, that's something that I really enjoy. I love sports. I love all kinds of sports. Basketball, soccer, football, anything. The only one I kind of don't like is baseball. But I'll play it. I won't watch it. But, yeah, okay. So, tennis I also like. So yeah, I like all sports, guys. Well, some news. Some news for all you basketball players out there. You know, right now we're living the playoffs and we're in the Western Conference Finals and also the Eastern Conference Finals. You know, today, right now, today, a couple minutes ago before I came to record, I found out that the Cavaliers swept the Hawks. So the Cavaliers are on to the Eastern Conference Finals while the Heat and the Raptors are still in a really close series. They are down 2-1. The Heat are down 2-1 to the Raptors right now. You know, the Heat have a really good team with Dwayne Wade and other players. And I'm sure they could get back up. I go for the Heat, guys. Sorry if you guys go for Toronto. I'm sorry. I go for Miami. That's, that's I don't know. That's my team right now. So, that's the Eastern Conference. So, that's that. The Miami against Toronto. And then the Cavaliers were swept. And then on the Western side of things, we have the Golden State Warriors against the Portland Trailblazers. You know, Golden State right now is up 2-1. to one. And they won both games at home, which is in Oakland, but they lost one game in Portland. And that was a really important game, as you guys know, well, maybe you guys don't know, but they don't have Steph Curry. Steph Curry is the best player, which he's like the MVP of the league, the most important player, you know, so that guy is awesome. He's amazing. The shots he makes are incredible. So he's not playing right now, so they're missing their best player. And it's affected them a lot, obviously, because... I mean, they're winning the series, but still, they're not getting the kind of points, the kind of things they used to get before. So, they're up 2-1 to one with the next game in Portland again. If Portland wins that, then they tie the series up at 2-2. Two to two, And then they have to go to game the other game until the until whatever team gets to four games won. So, I honestly hope that the Warriors win. I hope Steph Curry comes back soon and they win that series. And then on the other game that they have in the Western Conference, we have the Oklahoma City Thunder against the San Antonio Spurs. And well, the Spurs are winning 2-1 to one right now. It's a really 
tough series as well. But I'm pretty sure that the Spurs are going to come out on top, even though I don't want that. But hey, you know, that they're just better. They're a really good team. So that's basketball talk. And now for soccer talk, just a little thing to throw in there. I don't know if you guys know, but the Barclays Premier League over there in England, Leicester City, which was a team that really nobody believed in, a team that everybody thought was going to lose. Nobody gave them a chance to actually win. Well, they won the Barclays Premier League, and now they're going to go on to the Champions League next season. So that's an underdog story that you guys can check out you know it's crazy nobody thought that they would win but they did it so the same thing you know with the whole topic that they're having today problems you know Leicester City had a problem nobody believed in them Golden State has a problem their team they're the best player on their team you know they're not he's not there but they're not giving up the same way you shouldn't you're going through problems don't give up be persevere be have perseverance and God's with you and you guys gonna get through it so that was this sports connection segment I hope you guys had an awesome time I did and I'm gonna have even more of an awesome time with you guys covering these sports and everything and I hope I get more views like this because I mean this is pretty awesome you know it's beautiful it's amazing so guys I had an awesome time awesome experience you know for the first time i'm doing this sports segment and it's awesome so i hope to see you guys here next week enjoy the rest of mj utv with pam maria joseph and jocelyn take care god bless you welcome back guys and as you guys know today's topic is all about problems and you know as teenagers we face problems everywhere whether it's at home whether it's at school sometimes with friends a lot of different things right jocelyn and the biggest problem of them all is knowing how to deal with everything else. So today's ta- today's um, you know program, we're gonna try to give some advice. We're gonna give some a little bit of tips that we do in order for us to overcome the problems that we face. Because you know you guys see us here, but we also face our battles. You know off the camera. So yeah. Jocelyn, what what advice would you give to the youth today? First of all, don't panic. Never panic. Um, I think with panic when we face problems, we tend to panic really easily and we get to lead to our emotions and things like that and so what that happens is that we depend on other things as well like you start eating a lot because you're so you're you're so caught up with that problem you start spending out more time not sleeping at all because of that problem you start doing other things that you wouldn't normally do because you start having that anxiety having that being panicked with that problem and don't never panic you should never panic you should keep calm and there's also another advice too, but Joseph's gonna take it away. Yeah, so the next advice would be, you know, obviously put the problem in God's hands. But it's not just like, oh, here's a problem, God, take care of it. No, you also have to do your part, right? So let's say you're, you're having a discussion with someone. Maybe you guys got angry and you say, oh, God, it's in your hands. Well, you have to do your part, you know. Go apologize. If you, even if you didn't do anything wrong, just try to get everything settled so that way everything, you know, comes back to normal. You don't want to lose a friendship. You don't want to lose someone that's close to you, or maybe lose, even lose bonds that you built. It took so much time for you to build over something it's simple like that. So obviously, put it in God's hands. Yes, asking for guidance, direction, but don't just leave it at that. Take initiative and do your part to solve the problem as well. And the last advice we have for you guys is to act intelligent. Use your intelligent faith. Um, as we said before, as I said before, emotions do not work when you're going with those no. problems. They will not help at all. I'm saying it from experience because there's always, you know, always pe- there's always people telling you, listen to your heart, follow what your heart says. Oh my gosh, it's the, the lie. It's a lie. I'm telling you guys, it's a lie. Do not go with that lie <laughs> because if you go by your emotions, by what you feel, you're never going to you're gonna get worse. You're gonna get worse into that problem. And it's interesting because, like you said, if you listen to your emotions, five minutes from uh, right now you're happy. Yeah. And ten minutes from now you're sad. You know you might get angry. So if you listen to your emotions, nothing's ever gonna get solved. You're, it's something that's constantly changing. So you like she like Jocelyn said, and that's like the best advice. Make sure you guys use your head. You know, act in- intelligently. Use your faith, and that problem will get solved. But don't. Don't use your, your heart. heart. Don't Never. use your emotions. <laughs> Never. No. It's the worst thing you can do. It's the worst thing you can do. Yeah, yeah, so guys, that's the advice for you, for you guys today. So put it into practice this week. Maybe there's a problem that's been constantly going on in your life, or maybe just something that comes up this week. Try it, you know. Think about the problem. See what's going on. Put it in God's hands. Don't be guided by your emotions, and you'll see the problem will get solved. But like, she's, like Jocelyn said, Stay away from emotions and everything should be good as long as you use your head and put it in God's hands. 
And Jocelyn, there's a lot more coming for you. FJU TV, right? Or is that Yes, of course. No, we can't end the show like this. <laughs> we have Maria's segment coming up. Um, she's going to do FJU Got Talent. And you're going to experience uh, one of our, uh, actually one of our guests that we have today. She's going to do a small performance of us. And she's going to be singing. Which you guys like singing. <laughs> and um, also we have Pam's um, SOS. And she's going to do the Q&As. And she's going to take care of, you know, give advice too. You know, uh, to add to on what we just discussed here and she's gonna give personal advice and things like that so stick around stay tuned and we'll be right back be right back guys what fortune lies beyond the stars those dazzling hearts too fast to climb i got so hard to fall so far Found heaven is love sweat
guys, welcome to a new segment called Looking for the Stars. Today we have Jacqueline, a girl who went through many problems at home where she struggled with her family, a family passed away, and it was very hard for her to grow out of her shell. So by going to FJU, she was able to find her talent by singing in the events. She was able to develop that talent that she had in, hidden inside of her. So today she's here to perform, to show you guys what she has for you guys, okay? So hope you guys like it. You call me out upon the waters, the great unknown, where fear may fail. And there I find you in the mystery, in ocean deep, my faith will send. And I will call upon your name. And keep my eyes above the waves When oceans rise My soul rests in your embrace For I am yours And you are mine Spirit me where my trust is without borders Let me walk upon the waters Wherever you would call me Take me deeper than my feet could ever wander And my faith will be me stronger In the presence of my Savior Spirit lead me where my trust is without borders Let me walk upon the waters Wherever you would call me Take me deeper than my feet could ever wander And my faith will be made stronger In the presence of my Savior Welcome to this new segment of FJU TV titled Prep Talk. And today, you guys, I'm here. I'm back. And today we're talking about, about anger. Sorry. Anger and how to deal with some situations and how to deal with problems. Joseph and Jocelyn, you know, definitely put their input. But I'm here today to do something a little bit different. Today, I'm not giving you guys answers to any questions. I'm here just to give you my advice on how to deal with them. So here is my advice on how to deal with problems or with tough situations. 
It's don't ever make decisions or ever speak at the moment when your head's hot. You know, when someone gets you really frustrated and you your blood is pumping through your veins and at that moment you're just full of emotion, you can be full of anger or, you know, maybe someone disappointed you, they let you down, things like that. My best advice in that situation is don't deal with it at that moment when you're full of emotion. Let yourself cool off. Get yourself away from that situation. It's something that has helped me deal with my situations or ask, you know, the way in which I react to them, the way that I speak afterwards. I just try to get myself away from them. So that would definitely be my advice to you guys. And how to avoid, honestly, just problems in general, even though it can be hard. It would definitely be by taking yourself out of the situation or don't even put yourself in it. For example, let's say I've seen it happen, actually. You know, let's say that you're out out and about and you're not gonna go definitely you know be around certain people that you know that you're either having problems with or that you know they're too hostile you know you're not gonna want to be around this type of people so even if that means you having to leave or not be around these people just take that choice sometimes it's a little bit harder to do it but it's the best way that I believe that you can avoid situations like that by you not putting yourself in that position and just overall Don't use your emotions a lot whenever you have to make decisions or when you're going through something tough. Because from personal experience, I've done it. I've gone through situations where either people get me angry or they disappoint me because they honestly let me down. And if I answer, if I tell them something or I make a decision in that moment, honestly, a lot of the times I regret it because I'm at that moment I react or I say something that I don't really mean but it's since I'm in the heat of the moment afterwards later on once I'm really thinking about it I realize hey you know I acted too fast I shouldn't have said it so that would be honestly my biggest advice to you guys and I want to say thank you guys for being here today with me at prep talk and here in our FJU TV. So you guys get ready because next week we're going to be here, guys. Our The email that you guys are able to write to me, questions, anything that you guys have, is going to be right here at the bottom. So make sure you guys write to me, answer me, anything that you want, and I'll be here to answer those questions and give you guys advice. So have a great week and see you guys next week. Hi right, guys, and that's all for today. Well, as you guys saw, today was just a little taste of what's to come in season two. So make sure you guys continue to watch the videos. There's going to be a lot more helpful advice, a lot of more funny segments, a lot of things that are to come. And uh, make sure you guys continue to like us on all the social media, right, Justin? Yes. You guys can follow us on our Facebook page on FJU Estados Unidos. It's been blowing up, so you guys can like, comment, and share. Also, you guys can follow us on our Instagram page, which is FJU underscore USA. Also on Snapchat, FJU SA. And also for the Cali, it's the same thing, FJU Cali. And then... West Coast. Yeah, got to represent the West Coast, too. And then also we have our um, Instagram page, FGU underscore Cali, and also our Snapchat. Guys, snap us uh, up. Yeah. Send us your snaps. Come on. At FGUCA. All right. Stay, stick around. Stay tuned. This is just a little taste, and little we're going to keep on going. Taste. We're going right, to keep on going stronger and better than ever before. So stick around, and we'll see you next time. I'm Justin. And I'm Joseph. And you guys are watching FGU TV. TV.